So Paul, in the actors category, best actor, best supporting actor, a couple of tough calls here as well, although I think probably it, it narrows down to two or three in each category. Absolutely. You know, for me, I, I want to go on record right now. I'm the biggest Ryan Gosling fan in the country. Uh, there's no one who loves Rigo more than me. Rigo. Um, but I just... Casey Affleck in Manchester by the Sea. That was a performance that, on so many different levels. Once again, I talked about uh, um, I talk about Manchester by the Sea in the subtlety, in the direction, in the performance, in the cinematography. It's like just a meditation in subtle filmmaking, which is sometimes just so powerful. Mm -hmm. And there's so many emotions involved that he plays so well in that subtlety. Um, there, you could really go over the top in that role in that performance, and he holds it in. And and plus, he's won every other award. If we look at the context of it. Mm -hmm. I just don't see how he doesn't win uh, here at the Academy Awards. Again, I think if if Ryan got, I mean, we'll know by the time Ryan Gosling comes up in that category how La La Land has done. But again, if there's a sweep, Ryan Gosling's going to be part of that sweep. I, uh, I, I think the only real competition, though, on uh, the level of the performance for Casey Affleck, who I also think is, is the front runner, is maybe Denzel Washington. Uh, in Fences, because that is, as you said, with Viola Davis, an actor's film. Yep. What about supporting actor? Supporting actor, it's Mahershala Ali for me all the way in Moonlight. As Juan, it's one of the best performances I've seen in, in a few years, mm -hmm. um, and he and he deserves it. He 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 has a the cat. Let's face it, the Academy doesn't always just look at the one performance. They look at body of work. Um, they look at histories and backstories. I mean, it's more than just. Sometimes we forget it's more than just the performance. There's mm -hmm. politics and all that stuff involved, and and Moonlight is just has a momentum with it right now, um, and. I just think his performance, to me, stands above the rest. It really does. The only challenger, and I agree with you that he's the front runner, for me is Jeff Bridges. Hollywood loves Jeff Bridges. The Academy loves Jeff Bridges the last few years. Uh, it is a good performance in Hell or High Water, and that, that might be the only chance that film gets to be awarded, uh, as good as it was. But at the end of the day, he is sort of just playing Jeff Bridges. Yeah. Um, and so I do think that uh, pound for pound, Mahershala Ali's performance is the better one. Absolutely. In Hell or High Water, filmed in my hometown, that's another film that's in my heart, just a, a beautiful film. Um, but Jeff Bridges is doing Jeff Bridges, and mm -hmm. I just feel like we, we awarded him for that in Crazy Heart, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's just like with a performance, uh, with an actor uh, like Ali, it's, it's hard to award an actor who has just been doing it. And don't get me wrong, I love Jeff Bridges. He's mm -hmm. incredible. But at the same time, I feel like going back to the politics of it, they're like, we've given him one. Let's mm -hmm. give somebody else a shot. So I really see that coming home and being one of Moonlight's, I think, multiple awards on Oscar night.